It's no wonder why paludarium builders attempt to mimic nature. The natural colors, the rolling mist, it's quite relaxing. Let's see if we can add this to our tank for under five bucks. Except in our case, we're going for chaos. We're gonna try to go for an absolute fog overload. This guy knows what's coming. Ducking your whole little guy, zero visibility is on its way. Okay, let's begin. I found this fogging device on AliExpress. It's two foggers in one for under three bucks. For this price, I just had to try it. Time to test the sucker out. Amazing. Wait, what? Well, that sucks. I'm pretty sure I just threw $3 in the garbage. My fault. I should have read the instructions. But if you keep watching, you'll realize why I didn't bother. It turns out you can't dunk it in water, and you only just got to keep one side wet. Anyways, I guess that's what these white sticks are for. They're useless to me. I can't figure out how to attach them. So, I came up with this. It's just a disc rag tied on with some wire. It actually worked out pretty good. It's just a bit jerry-rigged. Kinda too jerry-rigged. There's a fine line between a do-it-yourself debacle and a 3D printed hack job. At least it looks a little nicer. And surprisingly, it's working flawlessly. This thing holds the disc nicely in place. While the dish cloth is weaved through the back, keeping the one side wet. At this point, the fogger build was successful. But I feel like this project's still a bit lacking. I think I'm going to make it voice activated with Google Home. Hey Google, how you doing? The simplest way to do this is to use a Wi-Fi plug and just sync it to Google. But I'm doing this for my kid. And in the eyes of a child, the more I overcomplicate simplicity, the smarter I look. Let the confusion begin. It starts with this thing called an ESP32, which is just a really cheap, tiny little computer. Another AliExpress.com impulse buy, but it was only five bucks. Up next, we got a relay module from, you guessed it, AliExpress.com again. And finally, the Google Home speaker. Hey Google, tell me a joke. What do you call an empty jar of cheese whiz? Cheese was. <coughs> For this device to turn on, you gotta push a button. The only thing is, Google doesn't know how to push buttons. So we gotta modify this board so that it's always on. According to the instructions, which makes absolutely no sense, the switch has one side or left side, and the two welding feet are bright in the same direction. The switch is invalid, and the spray is electrified, and the spray has no timing? Let me save some confusion. All you gotta do is short out both sides of the switch, and you're good to go. All right now, so for the programming part, I kinda went all corporate middle manager here. It's a fake it till I make it move. I took other people's ideas from the internet and put it together to make it my own. In short, I talk to Google, then Google talks to a website called ifttt.com, which then talks to another website called adafruit.io, which then talks to my board, which then turns on the relay, which then turns on the fogger. So simple. And here it is in action. Hey Google, activate fogger. All right, activating fogger. Well, the cool factor of this project has definitely increased. The next step is to personalize this for my kid. He wants to set up his own secret word so that he can fog bomb the tank on his own. He puts on his robot voice and then begins to say, Hey Google, activate my default beep boop. Okay, activating monkey fart. There you have it. For a few bucks, I can fill his tank full of monkey farts. 
Now the thing is, with an ESP32 controller, it just doesn't stop at monkey farts. Not sure what else I can do to make this smart tank a little smarter. But if you think of something, let me know.